Hi there, I'm Keith Emerson. I'm the lucky guy that gets to make these Vineyard 29 wines and uh, excited to share some of these beauties with you today. So what I love about our Sauvignon Blanc is it's a serious white wine. It is definitely not for beginners. Um, I love drinking, you know, quaffable um, porch pounder Sauvignon Blancs on the weekends and things like that, but this is not one of those. This is a wine that warrants food. Um, I'm a huge fan of uh, halibut in a beer blanc sauce or scallops or things like that with this wine. It's a serious Sauvignon Blanc. Um, I recently had the 2006, you know, that's a long time ago, and it was wide awake. Um, what's beautiful about this wine is its acidity is very firm. Um, it has uh, low pH, so about 3.15 pH, that's a super wine nerd term. But um, what it does is it keeps it all together and it makes it age very, very well. So it's very enjoyable upon release. Um, obviously, if you've been uh, buying this wine or familiar with this wine for a long time, you know that it sells out faster than anything we make. And, um, and it's one to grab, but you don't have to drink it right away, I'm telling you. It's, you know, 12, 14, it, it goes. It, it ages very, very well. Um, and I think that the pH and the acidity is, is a big part of that. So it's in all uh, water bent or steam bent barrels, 100% new French oak, and that ages for 20 months in barrel before it's uh, taken out of barrel and, and bottled. So excited to share this 2017 with you. Enjoy it. I know I will. Another wine we have today is the 2016 Cabernet Franc from the 2-9 Estate. So the Cabernet Franc vineyard is just here to my left. It's um, the Mount Veeder clone. It's a beautiful little rocky hillside and uh, it warrants a, a Cabernet Franc that is explosive in its aromatic profile. Um, dried potpourri, lavender, violets, and things like that. Um, and then when, you, when it's on the palate, it's, um, it's kind of uh, earthy. It's, uh, it's got tobacco, like fresh tobacco leaf, um, sort of scorched earth, and all these interesting non-fruit descriptors. Um, overall, the fruit profile is sort of a deep red into black brambly, um, brambly blackberry, and, um, and it's, a, it's a Cabernet Franc that will age quite well, but is also very drinkable upon release. I have to take a few moments to taste them myself. No spittoon today. Very nice. And then our big boy, the flagship Cabernet Sauvignon from the 2-9 Estate. So Grace Family clone, planted in 1989. First bottling was 92. Um, really is our, our signature cab, um, in addition to the Aida. But the 2-9 Estate is, it's all about power and finesse. It's, it's, it's concentrated, yet it's elegant. Um, I love making this wine. It's a, it's a true industry favorite. When I'm tasting with my peers, my friends, uh, they, they want this wine. This is, this is the one they're asking for. And uh, it's, it's a pleasure to make it. I'm fortunate to be um, the one sort of behind the scenes uh, along with my team. It's cassis, it's black currant, it's violets, it's, uh, it's, got, it's got all of the, um, the essentials of a Napa Valley Cabernet. It's, it's, it's unbelievable to me. St. Helena, obviously, we're here in the hourglass of the valley. Um, so Deer Park Road takes about 30 seconds to get across. And if you try and get across the uh, Oakville Crossroad or the Rutherford Crossroad or the Elmville Crossroad in 30 seconds, obviously that's not gonna happen. We really are in the most narrow part of the valley. And due to that, there's a lot of uh, wind. It, everything just sort of funnels right through um, here in, here in uh, northern St. Helena. And we have a lot of wind, we have a lot of uh, cooler air coming through, and it allows the, the grapes to sort of stay on the vine longer. So it's picked a good two or three weeks later than the Aida Vineyard, and a good two or three weeks later than most Cabernet Vineyards that we work with here at Vineyard 29. Um, it's a long hang time, um, the tannins are always firm, very developed, um, very mature, and uh, it's, just, it's just a wine that'll lay down forever. I mean, this thing, you know, will go decades. I'm um, talking 20, 30 years, no problem. So I hope you enjoy the Cabernet Sauvignon as well. The 2016 vintage 
uh, was somewhere in between the 14 and 15. It was a string of warm years, that ended with 17, um, but the 16 vintage was not quite as hot as 15, not quite as hot as 14. The wines to me, especially the Bordeaux, um, they, they have a juiciness and they have an approachability like the 14s, yet there's more structure. There's a little bit more tannin than 14, so not quite as approachable. Um, and then when you compare that to 15, 15 was very structured, very powerful, very concentrated. Um, 16 for me is a little bit more drinkable upon release. They're gonna age forever, like I said, but they're, uh, they're a little bit more approachable upon release. I love the 16s. They're really sort of everything you want and then some, so enjoy them.